that was the first time Andre Diescu and Pesationi put the world on notice that they are a doubles duo to be reckoned with. It would not be the last. From Mesa, they went on to win the gold in Sacramento as well. And here they are at the 2023 APP Newport Beach Open, reunited again, looking for their third gold medal in men's doubles together. Andre Diescu. We've almost run out of words to describe how great of a doubles partner is, how great of a player he is. And Tioni has really developed throughout this season. And if you think Daescu isn't hungry today, you'd be sadly mistaken. Did not have the showing he wanted yesterday in mixed doubles. So he's here to make a statement here, make a nice run here in men's doubles. And they will be facing CJ Klinger, Klinger and Austin Chikitilov. Austin has been switching partners a few times this season, but they've made their way here to the men's semifinals at the 2023 APP Newport Beach Open. He's not someone we've gotten a chance to feature on championship court as often this season. So for those who are new to his game, what can we expect? Yeah, I mean, actually surprising with how big he is and the size that he has. He has a very nice, controlled, soft game. He doesn't overpower... But he sets balls up well. It's the lefty that we're seeing right here, CJ Klinger, that's more of the powerhouse. Very explosive, very um, crafty as far as some of the balls and, and the height that he can take and, and really roll them and keep them in and put the pressure on. It's going to be an interesting dynamic because we know how big Diascu can get, especially in the middle. And Tioni, his patience we've seen develop event after event so for you guys if you are um austin and cj what do you have to do to try and make sure that you stop these two in their tracks pace has got to play you have to make pace a play or you have to make pass a play because if pass up plays and you take they ask you out of the equation it's going to give you a chance if they ask you is able to get in get a lot of balls play a lot of balls it's going to put you in a very awkward and tough position to get out of. So they really need to focus on getting that ball to Tioni and see what he can do. Tioni certainly someone who has proven he is up for the challenge. We've seen several matches where that has been the game plan, and pretty quickly they move away from it because Tioni knows that when you're playing with somebody like Diascu who can get so big in the middle, can be so powerful, you're going to have to bring everything you've got. Yeah, one, I mean, 100%. I think, you know, along with, Dom, with what Dom just said right now, as far as making Tioni play, once that happens and Diascu starts trying to come over and insert himself in the middle of the court, now that gives you the opportunity to go back behind him. And I definitely think that is where Chikitilov needs to focus is being able to go back behind Diascu, put some pressure on Klinger, will then get involved with the forehand in the middle on that lefty side. And so we are getting ready to be underway here in Newport. The men's semifinals matchup. Tioni with the serve to get us started. Again, we see another ball hit the net court and it just pops straight back out. We're not seeing as many balls roll over like we typically do. Yeah, that's just not going to work, <laughs> speeding up at the SQ right there. And I like the test. It's a test early there from Klinger, but it's just it not going to It was a test, shot. but watch, watch to get a lot. The ball was already passed him before he realized it was passed him. <laughs> oh. Deescu has to attack that ball. That ball's up. He's just got to punch that to the middle.
A lot of feeling out happening in this dinking rally early before Klinger speeds it right at Tioni. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, I was going to say, good spot there from Klinger as far as catching Tioni and getting it too far behind. Tioni needs to get extended on that one. Klinger goes right left shoulder, right on that left shoulder. by Klinger to hold down the defense at the kitchen line. Well, the reason being that they stayed in their point is because Klinger's left-handed. If he's backhanded in the middle right there, he got into trouble, but he doesn't because he is left-handed, works his way out of that. Tioni trying to do something very uncharacteristic right there, trying to go down the line with that. I think it skipped off the line too, which didn't help. So it gives Klinger and Chiketalov their first lead of this game one early on still that time the speed up by Klinger working out and Shaketalov finding that sweet spot just gets the ball to drop inside the baseline bit of pressure here from Klinger and Shakitalov. We've seen a couple of mistakes from Diasco and Tioni. A few balls wide, a couple of balls long. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Klinger looking at his paddle going, is there a hole in it? Because he takes a swing at this and just misses. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> that was classic right there. Ball into the DJ booth up there, but again, good pressure, good defense from Klinger in that. Tioni getting ready to serve, trailing 2 5. Good speed up there by Tioni, just in between Klinger and Chiketalov. A little inside out backhand punch right there from Tioni, and not expecting it was Chiketalov. Three, five, one for Tioni. Good counter there from Klinger. There's a pretty good spot from Daescu, but Klinger able to get on top of that one, and uh, Tioni wasn't really expecting it. Diescu with the cross-court dinks to force Chiketalov out wide and can't get that dink back over the net. What I'd like to see Chiketalov do is flatten that dink out back towards the inside foot of Tioni and look to jump there, force Klinger back in and see if you can open up some space. Nice. 
The speed up there from Klinger. I mean, that's completely unexpected right there by Klinger. And Deescu not expecting this. Watch, his paddle just drops. He is not ready for that ball. We don't see Deescu caught off guard to the point where he ends up off balance by a ball very often, but that was well-timed. And if you're going to get the win here against Diasco and Tioni, you're going to have to be unexpected and perfect. <laughs> yeah, Chikitilov caught with his feet still moving there. Diasco moving forward. <laughs> Diasco saying, yep, I'm going to get that one back behind it. For a big man, he has some of the fastest hands. You're not going to beat him in a hands battle. His hands are so quick, out in front, no big swing. Beautifully done by the big man. Ties us up here in game one, 5-5-1. Five, five, one. And again, Diescu just seems to like that sweet spot right on Chiketilov's right hip. In between him and Klinger. Well, the, the reason being that, too, is Chikitilov sits with his paddle down lower because he's looking in that defensive mode. Daisuke reaches in, elevates it just enough that he catches Chikitilov off guard and just misses that one with the roll. See, he kind of stands up and hits that instead of staying down, rolling that down. Little miscommunication there. Diascu and Tioni both hitting paddles, and the ball goes long. Puts the ball back on the side of Chiketilov and Klinger. Trailing 5 6 1 here. Good angle taken by Chiketilov on that overhead. Well, it helps. He's 6'9", basically, <laughs> and he can reach over and just punch that down. But again, it's that angle over power. He hits that ball on an angle, ends up in the front row. Six six two for Klinger's serve. Mm, freebie into the net there from Tioni. Yeah, excellent ball is that from Klinger, really applying the pressure, but he doesn't hit any ball into the same spot twice. You see there to finish it off, he goes backhand, forehand on Diascu. Chiketilov looking at the net like that was a personal affront to not get over. I can't believe it didn't go over right there. But again, great partnership here of Chiketilov and Klinger. I like it because it's polar opposites. If Chiketilov really loud, aggressive, and he's picking up Klinger after every point here. I like the partnership so far. Oh, Daescu called for the footfall on the Ernie. I think it was the drag. I think he drags the right foot here instead of lifts it. Oh. Well, we won't see the replay. 
So it's 6A2 here, Diascu with the serve. Little yeah. mid pace speed up there from Tioni, not working out. No, that's not a good speed up there from Tioni. He, he tries to elevate it, but there's nothing on it. If he's going to go there on, on Shaketilov, then he has to be more aggressive with, with that one. Shaketilov just gets on top of it, pushes it straight back down the feet. See, that's what I want to see Klinger going cross court with Tioni. I want Chiketilov to challenge him to go down the line. If Chiketilov sits in the middle, he's leaving a couple of those high, and he can pinch that in the middle and punish that ball. So quick side out. Ball back on the side of Diascu and Tioni. These two have won two gold medals together already on this APP Tour season. Looking to get one step closer here. Wow. You kidding me with the hands right there from Diascu? How does he get that ball back? I feel like I've heard you say that almost every time we've watched Diascu play. His hands are like one of the most impressive parts of a game that is so complete. Not about the first ball. It's about the second right there. So he knows that next, that first ball is going to come back. And then he comes and steps over in the middle and is able to finish that on the forehand and get the time out here from Chikatilov and Klinger. Tie game here in game one. Diascu and Tioni certainly coming into this match as the favorites with two gold medals already on the season. Their third time playing together. There's a communication thing that we know has been a really strong part of their game that they develop. Their game complements each other well. But these two, Chiketalov and Klinger, putting people on notice. What do you think is working so well about the way they're playing that's making it hard for Diascu and Tioni? Well, I think, you know, it's almost reverse roles. You would you would expect the bigger the bigger player to be the the aggressor, but you know Chikatilov does a good job of staying consistent, keeping balls down, keeping balls in play, and then Klinger finds and creates those opportunities to speed it up and be aggressive. But the thing that he does so well is, like we've seen, he doesn't hit the same ball into the same spot more than two times, and he really changes spots, changes heights, changes speeds. Chikatilov with his master's in functional medicine as well. So he's somebody that works really hard, not just he has a large frame, certainly, but he's really passionate about wellness and nutrition and shares a lot of good tips on his Instagram. Always looking for a good acai bowl is Austin. Speed up there from Diescu. Good hands from Klinger to defend it, but then right into the left hip of Chiketilov. See, so that's not the move I want Chiketilov doing. I don't want him looking for the Ernie. I want him pinching middle. Tioni's not giving him that Ernie opportunity, but the middle ball is there for him if he pinches middle a little harder. Game point opportunity here. But not if Klinger has anything to say about it. Diascu and Tioni with another chance here. At game point, Diascu with the serve. They're up 10-8 here in game one. Yeah, Tioni good, with oh. a good placement there right at the feet of Chiketilov, and it ends game one. It is Diascu and Tioni, a hard-fought win here in game one. We'll have game two when we come back.
Here we are coming again, APP Newport Beach Open, an event for amateurs, pros, senior pros, and super senior pros trying to get that elusive golden ticket to take it to the Nationals this year in Dallas. This is our last stop of the Golden Ticket Series with our partnership with USA Pickleball for 2023, and we're all excited to see who's going to get that golden ticket. Time now for the BioFreeze Mixed Doubles Bracket here at the APP Newport Beach Open. Take a look at what we have on tap for tomorrow. No surprise to see the one seed Paris Todd and Hunter Johnson punch their ticket to championship Sunday. But look at who they're facing. Andre Mick and Allison Harris. These two met just earlier this week. First time playing in a tournament together, and here they are. A chance to take down Todd and Johnson in the mixed doubles gold medal match tomorrow. What has surprised you about their run through this mixed doubles bracket? Well, I mean, actually, I've known Allison, Allison Harris for for a little while. We've, we've done some we've done some uh, work with her up in, uh, up in Nashville, Tennessee for Andre Mick he's he hasn't been playing much but now he's starting to work into it a little bit more and he's finding that consistency what really worked well for them yesterday is that they're both aggressive players Allison could put the pressure on and Andre was there to continue applying it I mean he was ripping balls and and really being aggressive and just taking control of that kitchen line and in the men's single side of the bracket we had another surprise as well. Kwong Duong is going up against Hunter Johnson tomorrow in the gold medal match. Duong working his way through the qualifier. He looked so good yesterday in singles. It's absolutely awesome to see these qualifiers just making a name for themselves in the bracket and that is going to be a fun gold medal match with him basically coming out of nowhere. Cannot wait to see that but in the meantime we have a match at our hands here at Championship Court. Diascu and Tioni take game one. Chiketalov and Klinger trying to force a game three. The patient dinking from both Chiketalov and Klinger working out there as they get Diascu to send that one a little short and into the net. Up 1-0 early on here. In game two, That's it right there. Chikatilov in the middle right there. Now, he doesn't hit that ball as hard as I'd like to him, have him finish that, but he's pinching middle, and he gets that forehand right there. Let Tioni try and go down that line. Chiketalov is fired up here in game two. He and Klinger building up a really early 3-0 lead. The speed up there from Tioni sailing wide. Tough spot there from Tioni. He's speeding up into the short court. Klinger just lets this one go as soon as it's outside his right shoulder. Oh, catches the net cord. He had, he had it. Yeah, I tried to go a little too short, a little too much angle. That was a move, though, we saw from Chiketalov working out earlier in game one. I believe he got a point very similarly. The overhead, really harsh angle, and just with his height, it's an ability that he has, an important part of his game. But it is back on the side of Tioni and Diascu, trailing 0-4-1. 
That's tough speed up there from Deascu because Klinger sitting back in defensive position ready to counter that. Klinger with the speed up right into Diascu and he was ready for it. Yeah, he's sitting all over on that backhand side there. Just a quick counter attack, counter punch. Wow. I mean, that's a man on a mission right there is Tioni coming in with that huge forehand winner in the middle. 2-4-2. Two, Klinger with the serve here, 4-2-1 in game two. Diascu speeds that one right up in two, as you guys always call it, center mass. Very hard place to get bodied up a little bit. Klinger can't respond. Puts him on their second serve, and then Shaketalov leaving that just a little bit short. 2-4-1 for Tioni. Good patience there from Diascu. Outlasted Chikatilov with the cross court dinks. Only because he backed up just by maybe like a foot off the line right there does he miss that ball. If he holds his ground a little more, that ball's going to get down at the feet of Deascu and Tioni. Instead, it's a tie game. A little softer roll there from Kling. It kind of throws off the Tommy of Deascu. 4 4 2 for Deascu serve. I mean, he just keeps that inside the line. I'm looking at all the open court over toward us. <laughs> I don't so, so so over on this side. Yeah, he could have just tapped it with Chikatilov and Klinger stuck on one side of the court. Gives Diascu and Tioni their first lead of this second game. From Chiketalov right back down the center line. Yeah. And just finds the opening perfectly as Tioni cuts or moves towards the sideline and just finds that right down the tee. Yeah. 
See when he gives a nice angle back there past Klinger. Klinger trying to come up and put some pressure on, but that ball sat up a little too high from Tukatilov. Yeah, it's just not the right shot there from Klinger. He knows it immediately. He's got to get that up and over Tioni to the back corner, but he flips it up, wind holds it up. Yeah, excellent job there from Diascu. Again, changes spots, and he's pulling Chukatilov all over the kitchen line there, going forehand, backhand, forehand. That's just not the shot right there. High part of the net. Ball never came up. That ball six inches above the ground. If he gets that up and over, it's going to end up in the pro tent behind Klinger. Diascu gets that one to fall. Just paints the inside of the baseline. Klinger and Chiketalov looking at each other like, well, hard to defend that. <laughs> 7-4-2, Tioni with the serve. Yeah, I don't like that speed up from Chiketilov there. Trying to test Iescu without getting him off, by, off balance first. It's somewhat of a recipe for disaster. So Diascu and Tioni with the lead here in game two. They took a game one victory, 11 to eight, up eight four here in this second game of the APP Newport Beach Open. The crowd filling in here at championship court. A lot of supporters here and parents of both of these teams certainly proudly watching at home. Diascu telling me his dad still texts him before almost every single match to wish him good luck and Chiketilov saying that his mom Kimberly Ann also doing the same. Chiketilov and his mom have a really sweet story about their love of pickleball together. They were in a car accident about 10 years ago. His mom suffering a traumatic brain injury and Austin actually gifted her a set of wooden paddles for her birthday. This was when he was 12 years old, and at first she could only play 20 minutes, and then slowly but surely she's progressed to being able to play multiple hours. And he says she's certainly watching at home, very proud, and she's back to swimming and biking. So, Kimberly Ann, we're excited to have you watching this match with us here in Newport. Yeah, another good spot there from Tioni. Chiquetta loved moving to try to put some pressure on, but ended up running himself into a bad spot here. 9 4 2 for Tioni's serve. This is the definition of grinding away for a victory here by Deescu and Tioni. Match point on the paddle of Tioni. And that will do it. Klinger's return just a bit short. So Diescu and Tioni have punched their ticket on to the winner's bracket final, taking down Chiketilov and CJ Klinger in two straight games. We will hear from Diescu and Tioni when we come back.
Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. The APP is presented by Skechers, Powerplate, Pickleball Central, and Selco. Diescu and Tioni have already put two gold medals in their shelves this season on the APP Tour and now have placed themselves one match away from an opportunity to do it for the third time. Andre Diescu and Pesa Tioni on to your winner's bracket final. They're standing by with Dominic Catalano. All right, Andre, I'll start with you. Wasn't your guys' cleanest match, but you find a way to grind out that first game 11-8. What's the talk between you and Pesa in between games one and two? Well, like you said, we just had to clean up a little bit uh, in, the, in the error count. We made a lot of errors um, to, to get to eight. So we knew once we get everything back on track and we're able to just kind of play our game, we'll be able to make our own runs as well, which was the case in the second game. Unfortunately, we were off to a slow start, 0-4 and a bunch of errors, but then we got it together and then I think it was 11 in a row after that. So, uh, yeah, if we can keep the error count down, we've, we're in for a really good day. And then, Pesa, the familiarity of you playing with Andre What's it mean to you? Because, again, you're playing that setup role, and you had Andre in that second game going, hey, great setup, great setup. What's it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I mean, if, uh, this is probably the best game we I've, I felt like I played other than the last two I played this morning. So it's a lot of energy. So thanks to Picklefield. Took some Picklefield. Uh, ready to get some more energy in next round. All right, well, Andre Deascu, Pace Tioni, moving on to that winner bracket final. We'll have the other men's doubles Semi-final matchup here on Championship Court in Newport Beach. 